bikepedaling.com. Let's get started. Early morning ride today. It's about 5.15 or so. Going down into the wash. This trail goes along the side of the wash. Check out the sun in the corner as I come under this bridge. It only shows up for a second. There it is again. Pretty cool. Sunrise is about 516 this morning, I checked. And it's about 70 degrees already. It's going to be over 100 today. Going down again, even further. I think all these white things on the side are repairs to the concrete on the wash, or in the wash. Watch out for the water. And we're gonna go under some more bridges. There's always graffiti somewhere. During the monsoon season, you do not want to be in these washes because you will get washed away. The water comes through these like a torrent, and people get caught in these things every year, either at intersections or washes or somewhere because they try to get through them with their cars. I watched a Trans Am one time try to get across a wash and it got slammed up against the side by the water. There's a sign that says falling danger or drowning danger. So don't climb over the fence. Probably not a good idea. This building up here on the right is the Pima County Attorney Juvenile, according to Google Maps. I had a flat the other day, which I fixed. Then my disc brakes were making noise. So I went on YouTube and I found a video to fix that. I have the Tektro Aries disc brakes on my Diamondback Hanjo Metro bicycle. So what you do is, as you're sitting on the bike, the left hand side, there's two bolts on the disc brakes. You loosen those two bolts up, put a business card in between the pad and the disc, Pull the brake lever in, tighten up the two bolts, and pull the business card out. And that seemed to take care of the problem. No more noise. Seems like it's fixed. I'll put a link to the video I watched on YouTube so you can check it out if you need help with uh, adjusting your brakes. I'm going to be doing some early morning riding before the sun comes up. So I bought a, uh, a light that I'm going to put on the bicycle so that I can see where I'm going. It's like 320 lumens, which I think should be good enough. I ordered the Blitzu Gator 320. Seems like a pretty reasonable light. We'll see how it works. It's got 659 reviews on Amazon, and it's four and a half stars. I'm also thinking about picking up some new tires. I was looking at the Schwalbe Marathon Pluses or the Schwalbe Marathon Supremes. I'm kind of leaning towards the Supremes because they're like half of the weight of the Pluses. And they've got pretty good puncture resistance. And the handling seems to be much better according to all the reviews I've read on all the websites I've checked out. The Supremes are twice the price of the Pluses though. So, I don't know. I think it's worth it for the handling. If anybody has any comments on the Schwalbe Pluses or the Schwalbe Supremes, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested to uh, see your thoughts on that. We're veering to the right up here. 
This is where it opens up. This is the greenway. This building up here on the right looks like uh, part of the concession where you can get drinks and stuff. I'm going to check Google Maps and make sure I'm going the right way. I'm going to end the video right about here. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bikepedaling.com. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.